the secret ingredient making us fat. Yes, there is a secret ingredient. And the food industry did it to us. The sugar industry is a $2 billion industry. Sugar is the cause of the worldwide obesity epidemic. Sugar is in everything we eat. It is in our diet from the minute we awake to the minute we go to sleep. It comes in so many forms and uses so many different names while hiding in plain sight. Sugar, the big secret, we're going to expose it in this video. Sugar makes us fat. Let's look at the damage that sugar is doing to our bodies and how the sugar industry has pushed their product onto almost every supermarket product. In the 50s, they pay researchers to say that it was fats in our diet, not the sugars that were the cause of obesity. Look at what the low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet has done to society over the last 60 years. This uh, was a book written, How the Sugar Industry Shifted Blame to Fat, The Secret Link Between Sugar and Heart Disease, from the DailyHealthPost.com. Serving sizes. This is another big racket that they created. Look at this la label. Nutrition facts. Serving size 2 cookies. 29 grams. Servings per container. 18. So... If you eat, two cookies is 140 calories. Just two cookies. But look at that. There's 18 cookies in this package. So why couldn't they just say how many actual calories if you sat down and ate those 18 cookies? Why doesn't the label say in plain English how much sugar is in a product rather than saying how, much, how sugar is in individual servings? Most of the food we consume in our modern diet comes in a box. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are mostly created by the food industry at the cheapest cost and the highest profit. Nothing fits the industry's requirement for cheapest and highest profit than sugar. What does it do to us? It creates fatty liver disease, obesity, heart disease, high blood pressure and diabetes, on average, we consume 30 to 40 teaspoons of sugar every day in one form or another. The World Health Organization recommends only 6 teaspoons of, uh, of sugar a day. It's not our willpower. It's the fact that sugar is in everything we eat. It's no wonder we're getting fatter and sicker with the amount of sugar in our diets. Look at the negative effects of sugar you may not know can suppress the immune system, which brings on cancers and Alzheimer's and numerous other things and diabetes, can speed up the aging process. You know, when your aging skin and all the other things that go on in your body, it has to do with too much sugar in your system, can cause hormone imbalance, which is insulin, can increase cholesterol, can cause food sensitivities, can interfere with protein absorption, can interfere with calcium absorption, can cause varicose veins, can cause cataracts, can cause arthritis, can cause candida, can cause depression, and can cause con constipation. You know, sugar is a terrible thing, and it's hiding in plain sight, and we're just not aware of what it's been doing to us all these many years. How did they do it to us? The industry hides the sugar in plain sight. It calls it nanny names and engineer our taste to crave the high that sugar gives us over the course of a day. Their profits depend on creating the texture, flavor, and smell that will get us hooked on their products. Modern food science has created the perfect combination of fat, salt, and sugar to get us to what is called the bliss point. The bliss point is where the industry reaches our maximum pleasure point to create our cravings for their product. Did you know there are at least 61 names for added sugar on food labels? To make sugar foods low fat, many companies replace added fat with added sugar. Added sugar is hiding in foods that many of us think are healthy, like yogurt and energy bars 
and even in savory foods like pasta sauce, bread, salad dressing, and ketchup. My mother used to say, if I could put ketchup in coffee, I would. I love ketchup so much, and maybe you did too. Bliss point in our obesity. The bliss point created by the food industry has turned us into food junkies. We crave their products, not aware that a huge industry is pushing the junk into our veins. We have no idea we are consuming from 5 to 10 times more sugar than what our bodies can handle. Now what is the bliss point? The bliss point is the sugar, salt, fat addiction. During World War II, the food being given to our troops was so bad, they called it slop. So the government began a neuroscientific study called the Bliss Point. The study concluded that the correct combination of sugar, salt, and fat make food very appealing and even addictive because this combination of elements raised the dopamine levels in the brain and left an imprint which caused cravings for that food. During the 1960s, the food industry began to use this formula on their stable food products and have been doing so ever since even with baby foods. The end result is a nation, even a global population of people who are highly addicted to cheap processed food products devoid of any real nutritional value. There goes the magic words, devoid of any nutritional value. And that's what we're putting in our bodies and that's what's causing the obesity that we are suffering from. The human body. Our ancestors did not have available to them the amount of sugar that is in the modern diet. Our bodies did not evolve over the centuries to consume so much sugar. It is the cause of the visceral fat. It is the cause of the visceral fat around our waist, putting us on the path to diabetes, heart disease, and of course, our obesity. Look at this diagram. Sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. Let's read that again. Sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. That's how much we crave this stuff. But now that you know, you can't continue in your ignorance now that you know what the industry is doing to you. Avoid food full calorie soda, sports drinks, fruit juices, and vitamin water. In fact, some fruit juices have more sugar than a can of soda. Avoid all foods made from flour. That includes bread, pasta, cakes, and pizza. Avoid processed food, especially uh, breakfast cereals, as much as possible. And low-fat foods. Keep away from low-fat foods. You want to consume healthy fat. Fat does not make you fat. Sugar does. You know, a year from now, you will wish you had started today to cut the sugar out of your diet and out of your life and to get control of your weight and your health. Now let's look at the sugar toxic effects. Sugar increases risk of osteoporosis, Alzheimer's, diabetes, hyperglycemia, gallstones and kidney stones, coronary heart disease, asthma, arthritis, cancer, pancreatic, Crohn's disease and choleric colitis emphysema, uh, arteriosclerosis, headaches, migraines, candida, which is yeast infection, and fatty liver. If that's not enough to convince you to kick the sugar habit, it also speeds up aging process, suppresses immunity, disturbs mineral balances, raises cholesterol and triglycerides, tooth decay and periodontal disease. You know, you don't have to lose all your teeth as you age. That's a big misconception. Weakens eyesight, causes acne, causes weight gain that we all suffer from. Obesity and insulin resistance, malnutrition. Even though you are eating a lot of food, you're really being malnutrition and obesity. Hyperactivity, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, depression and anxiety, causes hormone imbalances, decreases growth hormones, constipation, fluid retention, and dependency. You know, dependency means you crave that sugar high. You're taking the sugar, you have a mood swing goes up, 
An hour or so later, your mood swing goes down. And again, like a junkie, you got to get your fix. A donut, a bagel, a cupcake, anything to get that sugar high back. And you go through that all day long. And then at the end of the day, you say, why am I gaining so much weight? The other day, I saw a fella drinking a 48-ounce Coke out of one of those big containers you get like 7-Eleven. He doesn't know that he's actually taking in about 20 to 25 spoonfuls of sugar. And when you sit down to have that cake or those cookies or that pasta or that pizza, look at it as how much sugar is being converted into your body. The minute bread or pizza or baked goods touch your mouth, they convert to sugars. And that is why we are gaining so much weight. If you are truly ready to take control of your life and lose the fat once and for all, get your copy of the Kenogenic Diet and discover the low carb difference. Please share this video with everyone you know. You know, this is the only way we can fight back against the sugar industry and the food industry in general and what they have done to us and to society so they could make a profit. Pass this on. Let other people know because we could start a, re a, a revolt against this, what is being done to our bodies. See you on the next video. And again, subscribe and pass this on. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.